previously on the Infinite Escape Room. It's gingham and it's in your hands. Does it have regular temperature dials or does it go up to fuck yeah? So we eventually got salt, sugar and cocaine. Yeah. Nice. I feel like we should have drunk the gin. This might have made this cake better. Hello and welcome to the Infinite Escape Room, the puzzling podcast where a bunch of chums come together to solve an escape room of the years. I'm Mike. <laughs> that is a great fact. <laughs> that was oh, yeah. That's beautiful. That's a great tagline. That I love beautiful. that. I'm Mike. Yeah, I probably should, I, I probably should have written one. Uh, I'm Mike, uh, world-class poor with a stake in the sewer. And I'm joined by... Listeners couldn't see, but we just got to watch Mike crash. Like an old laptop, he just froze for a moment and stared blankly into the screen. It's a loading screen. Um, I'm Anna, and I'm a rare two-eyed cyclops. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, and I'm John, and I'm a naked social climber who's been pretending to be a money gentleman for 24 years. <laughs> so uh, we decided to kind of bridge the gap between interesting facts that are actually true and <laughs> Yes. <laughs> But before we get into the show, we should first thank our fabulous, wonderful, generous patrons, and in particular, Hill Burton, Rachel Allen, Jess, Maggie B, Tonya Beta Harvison, and Bri- Brian Brian Butler. I believe it's Brianna. Brianna Butler. Brianna Butler. Well, there you go. John asked me to, to butcher somebody's name, and I'm going to. <laughs> Sorry, Brianna. The thing is, though, Mike, yours. I butchered her name the very last episode. So, <laughs> so, oh, so she's getting. And Brianna Butler. I gotta say, you kind of read that out a little bit. I think it's the whispering, but you kind of read it out a little bit like you were listing names after a terrible accident. <laughs> <laughs> the names of the deceased. Oh yes, it's like when they read them out in Parliament or something. Hill Burton, Rachel Allen, Jess, Maggie B, Tonya Beta Harvelson, and Brianna Butler. Forever in our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> John, if I find that some of the patrons are lapsing because they've actually died, this is going to age really badly. I mean, they might they might die listening to this intro just of old age. Well, that is that is my aim because you open this with the fatal words of "I'm going to make this one shorter." Yeah, I mean, I am not it. Um, and my brain went challenge accepted. We love and appreciate our patrons, and if you want to join their ranks for as little as a pound a month, you can do so over at Patreon.com/slash The Infinite Escape Room, where you get access to. Uh, sporadic bonus content, uh, early access to episode, unedited stuff, and more. Anyway, on with the show. Are you ready? Uh, yeah! D- d- maybe. This is awfully fast, but yes, all right. I'm ready. That's what she said. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> when I gave her a podcast introduction, <laughs> which was quite short. Last time, the gang rescued a captive Mary Berry in the bake-off tent baked a sabotaged cake laced with laxatives that caused Port Hollywood to pebble dash the marquee. They left the tent in the glorious sunshine only to find laser dots of a sniper rifle peering on their foreheads. You are they, and you are surrounded by armed border force police, complete with riot gears and rifles. One of their number steps forward with a megaphone. Millennials, step away from the idyllic countryside. You have been found in contravention of Gavin's law, whereby anybody born before 1975 is legally required to abide in penury in a cramped rental property in a dilapidated town or city. Take them away, boys. You are bundled into the back of a van and driven away at breakneck speed, watching the lush green pleasantness of the rolling Welsh hills and woods fall away to be replaced with the concrete grey and ratty festeriness of the city. Is it Milton Keynes? In London, um, after much (laughs) jostling and pothole bouncing, the van stops and the doors are flung open. You are ushered out into the grey, grimy street in a grey, grimy city and the arms of a waiting man in an incredibly shiny suit. It's all yours, Jeswin, the Border Force megaphone man says before hopping in his van and driving away to prevent some other youngling accidentally building equity. (laughs) <laughs> the man before you is slick in that his hair is slicked to a solid mass by gel his face is slick with moisturiser and lip balm and his suit is so slick and shiny that it appears almost oiled hi yeah Jeswin 
You're here for number 33, you are? It's the last one in town. You're so lucky to even get a viewing this place. Been up and right move for nearly 15 minutes. Let me show you around. Was that the voice I had for him? I actually can't remember. Well, I mean, if we're doing London estate agent, shouldn't be you shouldn't you be misusing the word obviously every three mm. seconds? Is that um, really how it? Yeah. Know, let's go for maybe like Luton estate agent. I don't know. Oh, you also need to have Excellent. lied at least twice by this point. <laughs> I was like, Unusually, I've not gone bleak enough. <laughs> okay, right. Let me try. Let me try that again in the voice. Again, what listeners are missing here is the face, the estate agent face he did. It was like sort of. It was like a dog about to sneeze. <laughs> That's how I like my estate agents. Oh yeah, yeah Jeswin here. Yeah, you ready for number thirty-three? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the last one in town. You're so lucky to so even get a view in. This place has been up and right move nearly fifteen minutes. Let me show you around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you enter a tall terraced building, passing a cracked sign reading Charmin House, and ascend a series of narrow unlit stairs covered in carpet last cleaned during the Blitz by the Germans. It's like walking on an elderly pub dog. You pass several numbered doors before arriving at number 33, which you go through. Rent's a grand a month. Let's get all the mod cons. I feel like this accent's slipping away from me. <laughs> Rent's a grand a month. It's got all the mod cons. Sleeps four if you use a hammer cook in the bog. Last tenants are evicted for complaining about the mould, so, you know, be warned. He slicks back <laughs> his already very slick hair and decides that the last three minutes of his life constitute a job well done and commission well earned. He goes to leave, tossing you the keys. Enjoy! The door slams shut and you hear a... As he steps back down the stairs, you are alone in number 33. After a moment, your phones chime and there'll be a brief pause here while I set the okay. up. Okay. Your timer has not okay. started. Okay. Okay, we'll just stand here then. So, 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 so far I've got Jeswin, Charmin House, 33. Okay, so Charmin House. I don't, I don't think any of these are, but if, if this was me, all three of those would be relevant facts, possibly the answer to the entire thing. Yes. So you've got Charmin House, that's Luro, and then you've got number 33. Oh, it is Luro. I did not think of that. <laughs> is that deliberate? I think it might Do be. Do you deliberately name the house after toilet paper? After a moment, your phones chime, and then chime again. Hang on, is he actually... And this is a note for Eddington, John. You may wish to... Oh, you fuck. <laughs> right, okay. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to have heard that, am I? Uh, well, no, you, you are. You're, if you check your phone, out. Oh, my phone is nowhere near me. Mike has added both of us to a WhatsApp oh. group. Because, and like a, like a professional, I had turned mine to okay. silent. Okay, I've got to go and run but and find my phone. I've hidden it. So... It's probably underneath a pillow. I'll go get it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Okay, Anna returns, looking like a young Slavic lady emerging from Russian winter. Okay. Hi, Anna. From previously Ukrainian house. <laughs> I got it. Yes, very much so. Sorry about that. Right, I've listened. Have you listened to any of these? No, I haven't. So there's two messages. I've listened to the first one. Uh, which gives us, it clearly recorded earlier, it gives us a wonderful taste of quite how far Mike has drifted in this voice in the interview. <laughs> yeah, so, so badly that I may want to re-record the, um, the first bits for you, John. <laughs> no, no, no. No re-recording will be necessary. Oh, God. Okay. I hear an editor note. Why, thank you, Michael, for that fine introduction. Editor John here, everyone. So what's basically happened here is Mike has invited myself and Anna into a WhatsApp group for this imagined household. And he's then immediately left two audio messages for us from the estate agent. So I'm going to play them to you, one after the other, and then we shall discuss. All right, Jeswin here. Just heard from my landlord. He's doubled the rent and switched it from monthly to daily. So you're almost saving money, but not. Uh, let's see, that's just uh, £64.51 a day. A cheap at a hotel. I'll come by to pick it up in half an hour. Make sure you've got it ready, or have you evicted and fed to the dogs. All right, Pilcock, me old cockney mucker. Jeswin here. 
Landlord at number 33 is sending his son over to fix the old snake and coiler. After a state he made last time and that explosion at the other flat, we're going to need you to fudge up a gas safe certificate to cover our arses. It's going to bloody shipman someone, or even worse, damage the tiling. To even get it going, you've got to make sure everything's in the dark. If the tap spat in James, then it ain't in the dark. Then you've got to turn off the brass. Then the jack ulna. Then wait 10 bricks and mortars. Then bleed the excess dresser. For it all goes bang. Oh yeah. And if anyone asks, the sun's on the gas safe register. It's close enough. He's on a register. Laters. You would appear to have but 30 minutes to cough up a day's worth of the month's rent or you will be evicted and thrown to the dogs. You look before you. Flat 33 looks back with the eyes of many cockroaches and the fronds of a lot of mould. The stench of mould hits you back and the back of your nose and the back of your lungs. Your lifespan shortens somewhat. Your fertility lowers. John's goes in first. (laughs) Well, he's actually (laughs) pregnant now with, with some kind of fungal baby. John's fertility goes so low that John himself becomes slightly unborn. <laughs> Your time starts. Is that why I have so little body hair? <laughs> now. What would you like to do? <clears throat> oh, okay. So we've been given we've been given two missions. Cough up a, a daily share of the month's rent, which was totaled at £64.51. Okay. I haven't checked that, but that's what he said. Yep. And also fix the boiler. By and falsify a gas safety certificate. Yeah. Okay, Mike. Where where are we in this flat? What's around? Us? Okay, so you are currently in. I think it's best described as the lobby or the corridor. Okay. Um, it stretches before you, and you have. Uh, yeah, it's kind of it's that bit that you step into before you step into any proper rooms in what is quite a cramped, miserable flat um, slash loft apartment. Okay, I won't be taking my shoes. Off, colloquially known. Um, to your Ooh. immediate left, you have uh, a door to the kitchen. Next on from that, you have a door to the bedroom. Directly before you, you have a small bathroom. And directly to your right is a living room. Okay, so should we check out the kitchen first? Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Okay, you step into the kitchen. Um, It's a small, very small, cramped galley-style kitchen with plumbing that has seen better centuries and, um, uh, what's the word, sideboards that have plywooded and blown many moons ago there's a distinctly spongy feel to the entire place the things of note that you spot are a fridge a boiler and a sink okay so we have to do something with the boiler right oh sorry a fridge a boiler um the drawers and a sink a boiler i However, think that might be something in the drawers yeah, let's have a look in the drawers <clears throat> you open the drawers in there you find a box of matches and many cockroach corpses. Mm. Matches. Okay, so we'll need the matches. I, uh, can we smell gas? Uh, you cannot. <laughs> How soon did you want to finish this puzzle, John? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I got a way out of this. <laughs> okay. I am enjoying the the haunting accuracy to to genuine rental properties in london uh, okay. um this is very accurate okay um so we've got madison the drawers can we open up the fridge mm-hmm. sure um it's empty Ugh. because you know renting just moved, just moved in well i know renting i mean just <laughs> uh, why would you why would you spend money on food when you could be giving that money to your exactly landlord? you selfish bastard john <laughs> what do you think food banks are for <laughs> oh good god should we finally take a look at the boiler yeah I almost dread to think, but yeah. I mean, John, it's funny that you should say that this um, reminded you of London rental flats because this boiler... Frick, is this my old <laughs> flat? Is this my old flat you based this on? You bust? looks suspiciously like somebody's had a go at fixing it <laughs> badly. Um, oh, no. I would say possibly somebody who's not gas safe certified. For the record, when I fixed our gas boiler, 
it was fixed <laughs> until <laughs> and it was well until we replaced it it was that was under careful instruction by a man on the phone who i never met okay <laughs> Was he wanking on the other side, John? Was that his end of the deal? Was that how he got? No, I think he just had asthma, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, so the boiler is um, very clearly um, broken and bodged. Um, you can see that parts of the uh, the fascia are missing and appear to have been bodged together with a combination of duct tape, garden hose, odd clips, and things. The only functional things you can see on it are a gauge, a nut. Marked water. Oh, sorry, just that, that gauge. Is that like there's a, a disc with a needle on it? And yeah, a disc with a needle on it. Nothing in, to indicate what it may be. Anything that may have been has been rubbed off long since. Mm-hmm. Okay, a nut marked water, a nut marked gas, and a red ignition button. Okay, so I reckon I reckon the the slang poem uh, is possibly to do with what we need to do with this boiler. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to listen to the fucking thing. So let's, ha- let's have a look at the sink, because I think we're going to need to turn the tap on or something at some point. Yeah, there was something mm. the tap, wasn't there? Um, yep, you turn the tap on, and interestingly, nothing comes out. Oh, hang on. Right, no, no, no. Okay, can we... The nuts for the for the water and the gas, can we adjust them? Are they turnable? Would you like to adjust my nuts, John? I would like to adjust your water nut. Okay, John, your uh, your fingers grasp my water nut. Firmly, a little too firmly, some would say. Yeah. We're good friends. Um, they call me the human wrench. And you attempt to twist. Unfortunately, the meat on your digits is insufficient to twist these nuts. Uh, okay. Despite we need... significant practice. We need a spanner. So, should we go? I mean, let's go yeah. hunting. I mean, there's there's no cupboard under the sink, is there? Uh, there's no cupboard oh, okay. under the sink. There may have been at some right. point. Um, and... The doors have long since been burnt for firewood somewhere else. Okay, if this was me, that spanner would be on top of the boiler. Can I just check? It's not. You check on top of the boiler. You find no spanner. Strange place to keep a spanner. <laughs> okay, let's go to the bathroom. Yeah. Okay, you approach the bathroom. You're about halfway down the hall when suddenly you hear a bang. The door behind you has just thrust open. A corpulent, sweaty man bustles past you and lets himself into the bathroom. Ho, ho, ho! I'm the landlord, son, and I'm here to do some fixings, but first I need to use your bathroom. <laughs> he bustles past you and closes the door behind me. Behind, Sorry, and closes the door behind him. <laughs> it's okay. My father owns this place. <laughs> he then begins to pass what you can only assume is the noisiest most awful shit that's ever been done in the whole history of creation. Oh, lovely. The stench that rolls out from under the badly fitted bathroom door makes your eyebrows bleed. <laughs> okay, so from from all of that, we can say the bathroom is currently inaccessible. Yeah. <laughs> Inside you hear him go, ho, ho, ho. My father owns like this Like Santa, what? <laughs> Santa's clearly a landlord. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. That's how he only has to work. Yeah, there, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so no bathroom. Let's just leave him to it, I guess. To the bedroom. You hear. <laughs> oh. It's like being in a service station. You know when you've got like, you, oh, you get know, the store next to a lorry driver mm. who's just like, he's he's on the Greg's delivery and yeah. only half of it yeah. made it to its oh, destination. My God. Shitting and wanking at the same time. Um, you go to the bedroom. In the bedroom, you find that this property was, I suppose, part furnished and that there's something you assume is a bed. Beds are usually soft. This thing, the mattress is so old and overused that it has essentially been pounded flat. Oh, lovely. Like rice paper. <laughs> um, <laughs> over a frame of misery. <laughs> there is little else in the room apart from a little hoover in the corner and a cupboard. Okay. Can I have a look in the cupboard, please? You attempt to. Some absolute bastard has padlocked this cupboard shut. The padlock appears to be lock pad id with a five character combination lock. So that's five letter character combination lock. Okay. It can't be Jazwin because that's six characters. Five. 
Oh, I wonder Six. if the Six. clue yeah. is... <laughs> did you just count on I your did. fingers, Anna? <laughs> <laughs> Amazingly, Anna did it on one did, hand as well. Did, did you just count to six on your? <laughs> I was counting. No, I know how to count to six, John. I was I'm counting sorry. how many letters Charmin has on my fingers, which is oh, better. That, that's good. <laughs> that's better. No, it was. I couldn't see, and you looked down, and it just looked like you were looking at a hand and going three, four, five, six. <laughs> Don't don't no, I, I take question it all back. my process, John. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't dream of it. I wonder if the answer to this is in that pissing message. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna once again listen. Okay, do you mind popping in I'm gonna close give to you the a, mic so I can hear? I'll give oh, you a quick reckon, time pause. Yeah. Uh, so this is message well, I do one or two. Uh, should we go through both and try and make as many notes? I guess. Yeah, let's start with one. Okay, here's one. All right, Jeswin here. Just heard from my landlord. He's doubled the rent and switched it from monthly to daily. So you're almost saving money, but not. Uh, let's see, that's just uh, £64.51 a day. A cheap at hotel. I'll come by to pick it up in half an hour. Make sure you've got it ready. Or have you evicted and fed to the dogs? So that was one. I didn't hear anything there that suggested no, the five-counter no. answer. Well, je- uh, okay. Sh- yeah, you're right. I need to stop counting. That's fine. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> <laughs> caught in the act i can i can tell you that voice note one is literally just basically your setup. okay that's fine so let's go yeah, to, yeah. Voice to voice note two all right pill caught me old cockney mucker jesuit here landlord at number 33 is sending his son over to fix the old snake and coiler after a state he made last time and that explosion at the other flat we're gonna need you to fudge up a gas safe certificate to cover our arses He's going to bloody shipman someone, or even worse, damage the tiling. To even get it going, you've got to make sure everything's in the dark. If the tap's spat in James, then it ain't in the dark. Then you've got to turn off the brass, then the jack ulna, then wait 10 bricks and mortars, then bleed the excess dresser, for it all goes bang. <laughs> oh, yeah. And if anyone asks, the sun's on the gas safe register. It's close enough. He's on a register. Later. Uh, dark tap spat. In flames. I got fudge. <laughs> it's a five-letter oh, word. Yeah, should we try that then? Find <laughs> um, <laughs> the random set of things. Okay, I got tap Spartan James. I got fudge. Okay, you uh, go to the bedroom. You try fudge in the combination lock, and it does not open. Damn. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay, we haven't looked in the living room, so there could be okay. some clues there. <clears throat> Yeah. Shall we? Okay, to the living room. You go to the living room. And it is similarly part furnished in that you can assume that part of what you're seeing in front of you is furniture. The most miserable threadbare sofa greets you, as does a sad and rickety table and chairs. There's a small sideboard in the corner where a television might sit, if indeed you could afford a television. A small hot air vent and some plug sockets on the wall. A small hot air vent. Uh, plugs and sockets. So plug sockets. I on. mean, this is all in the message. Plugs and sockets. Can you take a look at that hot air vent. Yeah, sure. It's one of those. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen them before. Uh, uh, basically, a hot air central heating system. Yeah, friends had some. This appears yeah. to be a floor mounting one. Um, this one has definitely not had its filter clean in many a moon, and it's not currently pumping any hot air. Okay. Anything? Like, can I take the cover off? No. It is welded down by both screws and <clears throat> decades of grime. Okay. There's a sofa. Right, I'm going to go through the message and I'm going to pause after each bit so we can write it down. I say, would you Would you like me to, rather than you doing that, would you want me to just give you the text? Oh, yeah. Yes, please. Uh, no, that's chat support. Oh, here we go. There's a chat thread in this. Oh, wait, I'll pop it into that WhatsApp group. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that I made. I might as well use it for this. Okay, so this is... Okay. Would you like me to cheat? Actually, no, fuck it. No cheating. No cheating. There we go. Okay, it's a look. So. I did wonder how you'd spelt Pilcott. Landlord at number 33. Hello, Pilcott, me old uh, son. It's going to bloody shipments. Yeah. It's so- going to bloody shipments. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know Courtney rhyming slang. Does it? Does it come through? <laughs> <laughs> Harold Shipman <Jesus>. will kill. 
<laughs> yeah. Mm, uh, you don't know. Rock, I thought. I thought you said. You don't shit know rock me, Kai. Me, quite honest. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, that really 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 Everything's in the. It's not arses, okay. is it? Dark taps. If the taps spout in James, then it ain't in the darks. Dark. Uh, if the taps spout in James, then it ain't in the dark. So we've got to turn everything. Spouting is the light James. on at the moment? Are, we, have, are the lights on in this place? Uh, the electricity's on. Yeah. So we need to turn that off. And the jack on. Uh, wait, yeah, wait you can, you'll just find it slightly harder to see everything. You know, it's it's, it's the afternoon. Uh, uh, Says Tressa. Bleed the excess dresser before it goes back. Oh, yeah. And if anyone asks, the sun is on the gas safe register. It's close enough. It's on a register. Yes. So. <clears throat> hmm. And the Jack Horner. Wasn't there a, a sort of a little TV stand thing? There was indeed. Can I take a look at it? Uh, you can. You can see uh, where a TV would have sat. And down at the back of the TV stand, you find some change. You find oh. ten pounds forty. Oh, let's nab it. Okay. Let's find us right. Clear. Which means we only need <laughs> fifty pounds and nine pence. <laughs> I think. No, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. It's all Ma- maths is not essential to solve this at all. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, that's that's job. Thanks. Good. Yeah. Um, uh, to even get it going, you've got to make sure everything's in the dark. If the tap's spouting James, then it ain't in the dark. If the tap's spouting James, James has to be water, right? Spouting James. Then it ain't well, in the try, dark. Well, we, we've tried turning the handle, nothing's happening. So James, James. I mean, there's so many Jameses out there in the world. Can I, can I suggest that you maybe don't have everything you'd need yet to... We don't have to a, put some of this uh, stuff together. We need to be checking under the sofa cushions because there's always something yeah, under the sofa cushions. Sofa. You have a rifle through the sofa cushions. Feels like a strong word. These are more like upholstery <laughs> prawn car- crackers. They are so just <laughs> desiccated. Uh, down the side of the sofa, you find six pounds twelve in chain. Okay. Okay, so we've got ten pound forty and six pound twelve. Okay, I'm going to run upstairs uh, to the bedroom. Oh That's no, 16 I'm going to run over um, to the bedroom 52. and have a look under the mattress. There's always stuff under the mattress. Uh, Anna, you take a look under the mattress and you find five pounds forty-five nice. in change. Oh, well done, Anna. Mixed currency, <laughs> by which I mean different types of change. Okay. <laughs> Twenty right, p's, so... some two p's. <clears throat> I mean, do I just go to Screwfix and buy a spanner? Like, is that how this ends? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, the guy. So I don't. I think the, the nearest Screwfix is probably sixteen minutes away, and you have fifteen. So the minutes landlord's remaining. son oh, God. Uh, tried to fix things before, so maybe he's got a spanner on him. Should we ask him if he's got a spanner? Oh yeah. Yep. So you go up to the uh, the bathroom door, and what would you what would you like to ask him? I'll lead this in your diplomatic hand. <laughs> Oi! You got a spanner. <laughs> <laughs> he cannot hear you. All you hear in return is. Uh, let, let, me okay. let, me let me try. Let me try. The ungodly stench wafts once more from underneath the ill-fitting door. Uh. Do not light a match. Do not light a match. Uh... Would me shouting louder help? Uh, hello, good sir. No. Might I inquire? Oh, right. okay. Well, at least I don't have to do the uh, foley. Yeah, you, you, the um, you, you, he, you start to figure that he may not be a particularly conversant NPC. No, okay. And is there almost <laughs> exclusively to provide bad sounds and very, very bad smells. Okay. So, okay. you won't have a spanner. So, where, where have we been? So we've got the living we've, room. We've checked the bedroom. We've checked the living room. Bathroom's out of bounds. And we've checked the kitchen. It's a small hot air vent. Can we pry it open or is it just uh, affixed? Uh, it's, it's very much affixed. Uh, we've got some money. In various... Hmm. What else have we got? And that's kind of all we've got, apart from... We don't need a spanner. We don't have a spanner. Is there anywhere else in the living room we haven't uh, searched in the description? No, I mean, so I described um, some plug sockets as well. There's actually plug sockets in every room. Um, the only difference with the ones in the living room is that they appear to have been given the old landlord special and painted over with several thick coats of paint. Mm. Okay. Oh, the Hoover. Um, yeah. Oh, so the Hoover, so we can plug the Hoover in, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. So you go take it back to the bedroom where the Hoover has been left, mm-hmm. 
presumably because there's nowhere really better for it to be yeah. left. Um, the Hoover has an extremely short power cable okay. and would appear to only be able to Hoover within a single room. Okay, so it can only Hoover within the bedroom. Okay. Uh, Let's turn it on. Maybe the, maybe there's a maybe there's a spanner in the Hoover. <laughs> well, you can check the you, bag. You, you turn the Hoover on, and it makes a quite a sort of a. <laughs> but you know, it starts to give it a pretty powerful suck. Mm. Uh, you try to Hoover outside of the bedroom, and the plug just pops out mm. the wall, and it loses suck. Okay, mm. so the Hoover's important. Uh, so the Hoover works. Have we looked in the cupboard? In the bedroom? You can't get into the cupboard. That's uh, the one that's locked. Okay, okay, so we need that word, really. Uh... Can I suggest that you listed the things that you have earlier and you forgot something that you picked up earlier? Matches. Ooh. Yes. Or dead cockroaches. What's on the matchbox? Picture of a match. It's unimaginative marketing. Matches. Do we burn the place down? Mm. I... Matches. <clears throat> I mean... Match has five letters. <laughs> I don't think it'll be that. Uh, you, try, try. you try that in the lock and the lock goes <laughs> at you disappointedly. Uh, oh, can I just try... It's been so long since I've had to solve it. There's no smell of gas. Can I try... I don't know. Well, there's no smell of um, gas from no, the boiler, certainly. Say, there's can we the, try lighting the match the outside? The foul stench coming from the yeah, bathroom. Yeah, okay. Can I try lighting a match outside the bathroom door just for uh You light a about match shit. outside the bathroom door. <laughs> a blue flame <laughs> erupts. Oh, for God's sake. Bursts underneath and with a cacophonous boom that blows the door off its hinges and leaves you with semi-permanent tinnitus. <laughs> no. The door opens. You look into the room. The walls have been coated in raspberry jam. Oh. <laughs> a pair of smoking feet are on the shattered toilet oh, bowl. No. Surrounded by £31.79. Apparently the most contents of the man's pockets. Right, just, just a hole the funny in the moment. ceiling I just, and I just, a spanner. Hey. I, just need to, I just need to take a moment to say a prayer for logic no. brothers. John, you said earlier, don't light a match. Oh, God, I did, I did. I literally said, don't do not do the right thing. <laughs> right, well, I... I said... It's my dedication to health and safety that, is, that has caused us problems here. I can only apologise for that. <laughs> but he was the only one that could get us um, a right. safe certificate. Oh, well, no. We'll have to make one. But we have, <laughs> our, spanner. We have our spanner. So we have our spanner. What was the, what was the cash price? It was uh, £31.79 for blowing up the man. <laughs> Jesus what is because mm. <laughs> you're still more than 11 pounds short of the rent you will get evicted. oh my god oh, right, right okay um, uh so and with inflation we're now 12 pounds <laughs> <laughs> since the start of the episode since the start of the episode yeah okay, okay. so turn, so we've got we turn the water of uh the water nut with the spanner on the boiler yeah but it's a tap spouting james gotta make sure everything's in the dark I mean, we could take the instructions literally here and turn off the lights. Mm -hmm. Does he mean in the dark? Let's try it. So let's turn off all the lights. Mm -hmm. And you turn off all the lights and if anything, you were surprised they were on in the first place because it's daylight. Yeah. Okay. It makes um, functionally no difference to your life. Okay. Good stuff. So it's the tap spouting James and it ain't in the dark. Okay. So let's, uh, mm. let's go and turn. Let's turn the... Oh, I don't know. Water, gas, ignition. Okay, Anna, you turn the water and gas yeah. on. The little pressure gauge goes all the way up to maximum. Let's turn on the bra. Uh, turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. You turn it off, and it goes all the way down to nothing. Then the Jack Horner. Okay, right. C could I? Could I, Could I just ask? Um, my how? How, how realistic to, to to life is this? Is this boiler? Well. Because if I so if I was looking at this, though, that would indicate a massive leak in the heating circuit. So I mean, I think the best way to find that out, John, would be to I guess hit start and try the kitchen tap again. Mm. Okay, it's, he's right. Um, oh, I know. Should we do it? Is. Then? I've worked it out. Okay, so so what is it? So bleed the excess dresser. So bleed the excess dresser is bleed the excess pressure. So if the tap spouting. James, that what he means is if the tap spouting flames, then it ain't in the dark. So you've got to turn on the brass. Then the Jack Horner has to rhyme oh. with something else, which I've gas boiler, I guess. 
No. Okay. No, I think I think you're on something. Okay. No. Well, let's let's do it then. Let's do it then. Um. So we've turned the water on. We've turned the gas on. Oh, you've turned them off. Actually, do you want to turn them back on? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, you turn them both on. The pressure gauge goes up to maximum. Okay, now let's try turning on the water. Hit it. You turn on the water, nothing happens. Uh, okay, now the water's oh. turned on. If I turn on the tap, does anything happen? Um, no, nothing's happening yet. Oh, okay, uh, press the gas ignition. Press the ignition button. Okay, you press the ignition button, and you hear a very ominous rumbling oh from the boiler. Flames start to pour out of the hot tap. Okay, so if... And it ain't in the dark. So it ain't in the dark. Make sure everything's in the dark. If the tap's about in flames, then it ain't in the dark. Then you've got to turn on the brass. Okay, is dark slang? Does he mean dark? Probably not. No. Yeah. It's probably that <laughs> cockney patois. No. Tax in the dark. In the mark, in the fark, in the park, in the lark, in the... Spark, and then it ain't in the... Ness, ain't in the... Oh, it's... you got to turn the... Dark. Like, dark what? Dark matter? Dark. Hoover. So what have we found so far? Dark Hoover! <laughs> uh, the dark, the dark Plugs Hoover. and socket. Please excess pressure before ain't it goes ain't bang. Ain't Wait, 10 bricks and more. Then you've got to turn on the brass then the Jack Horner and wait 10 bricks and mortars. So that must be seconds. Well, it doesn't rhyme with seconds. And bleed the excess. Well, it, it doesn't always it can't, rhyme, okay. can't be rhyming slang. It can't, it can't be minutes because there wouldn't be enough time. I, I, I can, I'll probably give you this one. Bricks and mortars, bricks, ticks. Ten, so yeah, 10 seconds, 10 ticks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then it ain't in the dark. In the dark is a colloquialism for off. Apparently. Oh. Okay, so well, let's turn the let's turn let's the make gas sure everything's... Off. And leave the water on and try turning on the tap. To even get it going, you've got to make sure everything's turned off. If the tap's found in flames, then it isn't turned off. Okay, so turn off the tap. Yep. Um, then turn on the brass. Must be the 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 nuts. Both of them, I guess. I can't say you pronounce brass. Check. How would how would people brass. in Derby present? Oh, brass. We're in London. You but uh, there are the unrealistic elements of this escape room, Michael brass. James Collins, and I for one object. Turn on the gas. So then you've got to turn on the brass, then the Jack Horner, which would be Jack Horner. Jack Horner. The Fetch the pay water. Water. Yeah, Jack little Jack uh, Horner in the fellow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so to, so turn on the gas, then the water. Okay, so we've got the tap off. Um we're then turning so can we turn the gas nut on? Then the water nut. Wait ten yeah. seconds, and then bleed the excess pressure before it goes back. How do we go? Are we going to bleed the pressure? Oh, uh... you hear a pfft. the little pressure gauge goes down again. Oh, it's done it. Okay, because we waited to zero. Uh, okay, bleed the excess pressure. Come on, John, you've done a boiler before. <laughs> No, John, you've done this oh, boiler. We, we've gone from criticizing my DIY nature to rely on me. Um, oh, bleed the excess pressure. So you bleed a radiator, but, but like there aren't any, are there? I don't think so. No, I think there's only one thing that's visibly been reacting to the state of the boiler. The the, the, yes. the tap. Oh, ah, ah, yeah. So we open the tap, open the hot tap just, just a little bit. Yeah. Bleed the tap. Well, you do, and you've, you've currently got nothing because you waited more than 10 seconds. <laughs> Let's do the whole sequence again. Talk me through it. Oh, you know you I like prick. to hear it. Oh, okay, right, fine. Let's turn off both valves. <laughs> right, so then, Anna, do you want to take it? <laughs> uh, well, we got so close. Okay, right, so you've got to make sure everything's... I believe in you. Tap spouting. So, so we just turn the water on um, and the gas then hit the ignition and then we wait uh, it goes all the way to max and then and we wait 10 seconds <laughs> and then we and then we turn the tap off turn the tap on flames spout oh, out crap uh john i think you had the right order of this and then <laughs> okay okay <laughs> right let's turn both of those nuts to tight uh open and close the tap to relieve any pressure or anything then we're, then we're effectively started again okay so make sure everything's in the dark so it's all off that's my chance that dark. You got to turn on the so turn the gas nut first. Yep. Then turn the water nut. Yep. And I'm going to wait one potato, two potato, three potato, four potato, five potato, six potato, seven potato, 
eight potato, nine potato, famine. And then I'm going to open the tap a little bit just to bleed some of the pressure away. You smell way. a gassy fart coming out of the tap. Excellent. Okay. Uh, and then press ignition. As you bleed the pressure from the tap, the little gauge goes all the way from max right down to the middle. And as it hits that, you hit ignition and you hear the boiler cough into life. Yay! Heat starts to thrum around this poorly insulated flat. Ah, a thrumming of heat. What I always dreamt of. Okay. Okay. okay so we finally got that. We haven't actually... But we haven't got our gas safety certificate. So let's, should we... No, I mean, it could, it's, it's fair to assume that that message might have been sent to you guys in error on the basis that neither of you are um, named... James. Whatever the... Uh, Pledwin or whatever the name of the Hello, was. Pilcott. Pilcott. Yeah. Pilcott. So... Okay, so we've got the gas boiler working. That's good. We don't have access to this cupboard yet. No. Um, no. So if we've got the boiler working, then the vents will be doing something. So can we check the vents? You do, indeed. You go to the living room and you see the big vent and two things strike you. The first, there's some of the piece of paper appears to have been trapped in the vent and has been whooshed out <laughs> into the middle of the carpet. The second is Nicely that you can done. see underneath the vent a small amount of money. Okay. How much money is it? Nine pounds, 82 pence. Have we reached our total, John? No, like you'll be 93 pence. Oh. Short. Okay, so we need 93 more pence. Okay, what do I think I'm worth? So what's on the paper? On the paper... Paper, five-letter word. Somebody has... A, a previous tenant, probably died of malnutrition or exposure, has uh, left a note reading, Dear future tenants, bloody parasite landlord has put a lock on one of our cupboards. Ah. If you need to get in, the code is easy to figure out. If he's done this in other flats, I bet I can guess what the other codes will be too. Good luck. If he's done this in the other flats. Flats? Oh, Loft 33. Shipman. Charmin House. House? H-O-U-S-E? No. Could I try that? You try that, nothing happens. If he's done this, could you repeat the... Uh, yeah. The, that letter Dear Future Tenants, bloody parasite landlord has put a lock on one of our cupboards. If you need to get in, the code's easy to figure out. If he's done this in other flats, I bet I can guess what their codes will be too. Good luck. It would be fair to assume that the codes in all of these flats are probably unique. But it's to do with the flat because this So be Charmin. Yes. No, that doesn't fit. Charmin. Have lost. But if it's unique to each flat, it must involve the number. And we're Loft 33. That's the name of the WhatsApp group, Loft 33, which actually Mike has at no point mentioned but it is the name of the group. Sorry, yeah, do you want to tell, tell everyone, the, all the listeners, what the name of the group is that you've been invited to? Loft 33, Charmin House. Oh, L33CH. But it's only got it's only got uh, characters, it's not numbers. Oh, is it let, letters yeah. only? Is it letters only, Michael? It is letters only. Uh, do you want yeah. to write that down? <laughs> letters uh, only. No. Hang on, hang on. Loft 33, Charmin do, do, do you want to Do you want to write down what you just told me, John? Letters and... I can't because the pen doesn't work. <laughs> Try typing. Is it letters only? I said, is it letters only? Is it letters only? Letters... Loft 30. Letters only. Loft 33. Oh, I hate you, Michael. Come on, you've... John, you've, you're so agonisingly close. I would say... I feel like you've letters by the nose. Write it down. Write it down. Is it letters only? Write down what you just told me. But I... Don't, don't just keep saying it to me. Oh, listeners, I hope you're... I hope Anna, you do you want, Anna, do you want to try writing it Letters down? only. John, describe. Loft, loft 33. Loft 33. John went through and, I believe, described L33CH. Yeah, yeah. So L C H, but there's five. Try typing it or writing oh, it down. No. I know what it is. L it's leech. What is it? Leech. Oh. <laughs> Bloody parasite. <laughs> leech. Oh. Right. Okay. We're gonna go put. Wait, we're gonna go put leech in the thing. I'm gonna put leech in the thing. I go do 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 do, and I open it. Um, and then we're in the cupboard. You put leech in the thing. Yeah. You are in the cupboard. Okay. Inside the cupboard. Oh, can I stay in the cupboard and be ashamed of myself? You find the bones of a previous tenant, not particularly important. Um, <laughs> you find 
93 pence, uh, and you find a tin of paint stripper. Tin of paint stripper. Uh, you are still £9.82 short of your goal. There is still money unclaimed. Hang on, I've written £9.82 down as something that we found. No, you didn't. Well, you found it in that you know where it is. You didn't actually... It's... Oh, it's under the, uh, under the air vent. Okay, can I get that? Oh, no! You, can oh, we? Yeah. Can I? Um, you can't reach. Oh, it. can I go? Can I take put the paint stripper Why? over the weird? Um, uh, uh, what's it called? The plug socket that's been painted over. You go to the living room and you apply the paint stripper to the landlord's. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Stripping off decades worth of emulsion from the sockets, rendering them operable. Okay, and then I'm going to get the Hoover and I'm going to get right. all the money. <laughs> you Very get good. the Hoover, you switch it on, and with a clink and a tinkle and a slurp, you slurp up all of nine pounds eighty-two in change mm-hmm. from the air vent, reaching your grand total of six pounds. Mm. Sorry, sixty-four pounds and fifty-one pence. And now we get to live another day. And congratulations! Yay. The door goes, and Jeswin rocks up without a word, without even looking you in the eye. He takes the money from your resisting fingers and then scarpers off to his next greasy appointment. But more importantly, you've paid for the right to exist. Well done you, for a day at least. (laughs) You put your feet up and prepare to take some well-earned rest. You're just closing your eyes when, bzzzt, 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 your phones all go off again. (gasps) Oh God, you know what, the threat of imminent homelessness made you forget all about all of your side hustles. You grab your taxi licence, your pizza delivery box, your Hermes parcels and 20 jars of artisan pickle, homemade, before sprinting out of the door, down the stairs and towards your waiting uninsured mopeds. You pass a wolf who is eyeing up your door hungrily. To be continued. (laughs) Uh, Wow, you pass a wolf who is eyeing up your uh, door hungrily. Gotta keep wolf in the door. (laughs) That was, yes. Oh. That was one of those puzzles where even in victory, <laughs> even in victory, I somehow feel worse. Did did they feel suitably unfair? In fact, hang on. Why don't we go? Why don't we go for this in the pub episode? Shall I? Let's go. Yeah. This on. Do you want to do? Can we afford the pub episode? Do you want to do? Um, oh my god! Do, does the, do we have to <laughs> we go to the pub? It is now seven pound eighty five a pint. We just we just buy a bottle of vodka and drink it in the yeah, pub. Yeah, we'll go to the pub. Um, yeah, shall, oh, I, shall, I, shall, I, shall I do the outside, outro, John? You do the outro. You do it so well. That's us for this week. Join us next time where we'll be doing something else. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> join, us ne- uh, join us on our next episode in the pub episode where we'll be talking about the room we've just solved and other pubby things and having a much well-earned, much well-earned, a well-much-earned pint of scrumptiousness lovely this man's an author i am oh shit i could plug yes you can i'll talk about it in the pub episode (laughs) you should i'll talk about it in the pub episode um anyway we hope you've enjoyed listening we love you lots and we'll see you next time in the infinite escape room bye-bye now bye Bye bye-bye